Yo, welcome everybody, welcome back to the Pistol Channel, back here with another video, and in today's video, we have a recent pickups now, you guys should have kind of seen an unboxing from this video, I'll admit, it did come in a box, it came from Ringside, um, and it kind of came within like two days, so this whole coronavirus thing is kind of making them, I don't know, have less orders maybe, because of how quick my package got here, which it really should only take two days because of how close we are to each other, but, you know, sometimes it takes four days I've had to wait for Ringside figures, and I've gotten over it. I'm not really worried about it. But here we have Thunder Liger of the Jushin. I absolutely love this guy. He's one of the reasons that I watch or have ever started watching um, Japan Wrestling. And this is Storm Collectibles figure. Storm Collectibles nails it, knocks it out of the park every time. Um, really wish I could get their Hogan's. It's just, I don't know. I don't, like, I'll, I'll put the Hogan's in the cart and then I'll just take them out right at the last minute. But with the Ligers, I know you guys see, I have two of the same. It is not like me to usually buy two of the same figure. Um, but I have started doing it, especially with special circumstances like this guy or like collectibles kind of figures. Um, one of these guys I'm definitely going to get out and like, play with because of how just cool it is. And just because it's Jushin Thunder Liger and I really need to play with it. And then the other one is going to stay mock. It's going to stay beautiful forever. It's going to stay pristine. Um... Hopefully one day I might even be able to get a signature on it. That'd be dope. If anyone has a connection with Jushin, that'd be great. Uh, you just hit me up and I'll pay you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so here we have the two figures. Got them from ringside. Had to rip them out of the box just to look at how beautiful they were. Absolutely like had to just get this video done just so I can get him out of the box. Just so I can play with him. Um, I have a lot of really cool ideas. And from the reviews I've seen, these figures are a must-have for absolutely anybody. With my preferred Jushin Thunder Liger out of the box here, I just wanna go over the backer card from in the box. You can't really see it because of how beautiful the figure is, but it does have this very nice like backing that will look really nice in any photo shoot with Liger, and it looks really nice in the back of this box. I might even keep this box just because of how pretty it is. But uh, on the box here, if I can get it closed, I'll show you it. So here on the front, as you guys can see, it obviously has Liger that we've been looking at this whole time. Liger on the top, really, really cool. World legend on the side. Picture of the figure, picture of the figures. These are beautiful. You got some in-action poses. Hopefully you guys can understand why I want to keep one of these mock. And honestly, I would suggest you guys do as well. And I really wish I could get a black variant of this guy. Um, and if I ever do, I'll probably keep that one mock as well. But um, just so you guys know, Storm Collectibles does not jip you on the packaging. You guys can see there's plastic wrap here in between the two layers of the box to keep the hands from falling out. But also, once you get the figure out, there's going to be plastic around the figure. Like, it'll be like there's a hole for his head. So it's pretty much like kind of like what Chavo Guerrero used to wear to the ring. Uh, or like a poncho almost of plastic surrounding this figure just to keep him protected. Um, accessory wise, let's get into that first. We have plenty of hands. We have hands that are like kind of like a, a Randy Orton pose hand almost. Um, like less of a Randy Orton pose hand. We have a whole like stop hand. Hopefully I'm showing this to you guys good enough. And then obviously pairs of them all. So there's just absolutely plenty of hands. We have like close to like a microphone holding a hand. That one's pretty cool. Like a crawling hand. Pretty much any hand you'd ever need to do motion-wise with this guy, which I wish I could get into switching hands mid-animation, but I just, I can't get myself to do that. I just forget because I'm so in the habit of just getting it done. But he also does have his cape with his entrance gear. And one thing that is so cool about this cape is you can't obviously see it on camera, but you can feel it. The outside is almost like a steel wool. So that way you can mold it to make it look like he's flying in the wind. So, you guys can do some really cool posing and animations with this cape, which is so cool. Um, I really hope Mattel or WWE adopts that idea. Oh, God. I think his head comes right off real easily. And if it doesn't... I'm... Whoa! Y'all good? I just freaking punched the crap out of the camera and the tripod. All right, I'm real sorry about that. I just tried taking his head off, and it came off easier than I expected. And I just, well, boom, punched the crap out of the camera. But here you have the Liger head, really, really nice head. Um, 
very detailed, very accurate. Um, must say, I love even the gold detail on the back. Storm Collectibles does not jip you at all. Storm Collectibles gives you every bit of everything you could ask for. And this, it, it would come over his head easy enough, but it is just so easy to take his head off. Why wouldn't you? But it it's like, it's thin enough that you can play with it and like move it around, but it's not so thin that you could just easily rip it. So it's a really nice material. Really glad they did that the way they did that. Um, and I'm not usually one to go over points of articulation, but this figure has enough that I'm going to. So it does have the, the chest crunch, which is interesting because um, this... Like, either you have the molded plastic, then you have, like, a whole chest piece on top of it that actually can bend all on its own. Um, and, of course, the detail on the paint. The elbows bend twice at the joint. The hand bends at the wrist and back and forth. So it, it gets, like, full range of motion. Let's see how hard it is to take the hand out. Hand comes right out. That is so easily so nice. Um, and, of course, there's the detail of the horns on the side. This figure is amazing. The belt is beautiful. He pivots forward. He does like a full circle. Like all of his joints are just like circular moving joints, which is so cool. His legs, obviously. I do think his thighs are a bit too thick, but you know, you get what you get. But this figure is beautiful. His knees bend twice as well. That is super beautiful. And then down at his feet, he has the, the classic ankle rotation, but it can move back and forth too. So his ankles, every joint gets the crazy rotation. And if you guys see here, his toes also, his toes can also be moved, which is super nice. Um, super detailed figure, super crazy beautiful with all the details and all the articulation. And Storm Collectibles honestly just nails it out of the park. Um, and it's understandable. They are better than, like, like figure-wise, they can make better figures than Mattel. But they probably would... Be level with Mattel if they tried making a consistent figure series like you guys just say that Mattel is so bad Storm Collectibles is so much better well because Storm Collectibles only has to make a figure at a time whereas Mattel is trying to produce a whole bunch of figures all at once and so obviously if Storm Collectibles the, it would probably go down if they had to make eight figures like this in a month you know it'd be it'd be a totally different story um you guys were crooked that whole time. I feel so bad. All right, but with that said, I do thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.